And this week, historic flooding from torrential rain and excess snowmelt caused the Yellowstone River to swell to record levels. This was disastrous for America's first national park. Now, some of the gateway tourist towns face a fight for survival. CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti is in Red Lodge, Montana. Tonight, residents are still drying out. Cell phone video shows two kids using a raft to gather belongings in their basement, filled with several feet of water. Down the street, volunteers are helping clean up Bree Beekman's washed out bedroom, where she was when the water rushed in. I heard a noise and I heard my cat like meowing. I looked at my floor and all the water was everywhere. This week's catastrophic flooding in Yellowstone shut down the national park and damaged or destroyed hundreds of homes and businesses in nearby towns like Red Lodge, where recovery will take months, if not longer. How do you recover from this as your insurance cover floods? Most people don't have flood insurance, and for good reason. If we don't have floods. We don't flood. That's, that's not, this is not the kind of disaster that we have here. Fire Chief uh, Tom Kuntz has been on the job for 27 years. A year ago, we were on fire. We had, you could have walked across this creek and not gotten your feet wet. Scientists say climate change is fueling disasters like this one and raising the risk and cost of living in places once considered out of harm's way. FEMA, which is on the ground to assist, says a single inch of flood water can cause up to $25,000 in damage. Without insurance, homeowners will have to pay out of pocket or apply for hard to get loans, also hampering recovery of flood of cancellations. You're needing to cancel. Larry Young's Inn was fully booked this summer by people hoping to visit Yellowstone's Northern Loop, which is now closed through October. When did the cancellations start coming in for you and your business? Immediately, we've had over 150 cancellations. And that number has only grown, leaving this tourist town on the line. Just help our town out by uh, uh, supporting us by coming to see us again, all right? And this was supposed to be a big summer for Yellowstone, which is celebrating its 150th anniversary. The southern end of the park, which did not sustain as much damage as where we are tonight, is expected to reopen on Wednesday, Errol. All right, Jonathan Vigliotti, thank you.